It does have wings. I thought you just had a really cool canopy, but I was like, the canopy, the canopy's a little bit low. <laughs> I was like, There's not much camping you can do under this canopy. Now this is this is wicked. Oh, thank you. It even has a working uh, a working toilet if you uh, you know <clears throat> you need to do some business. Does it actually? My my bus yep. does not have that. I just do it out the side yep. and hope that nobody notices. Yeah, this look at is, that. Beautiful, right? This is this is Beautiful. the business. See ya. Oh. oh! <laughs> Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. This is Ren digging in now, coming at you in another Minecraft episode for ROM, the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from just outside the boundaries of Rendock Isle, where I thought we'd begin the week with a nice and simple project. Connecting Doc and I's shared base to the growing road network of Hermit Continent that was started last week by the horse-loving B00. And honestly, this is exactly the kind of task I needed today, my dudes, because once again, it's been a very weird week on the Hermitcraft server so far. But before we get to those shenanigans, we've got a road to build. The plan to start this week is to connect B00's highway to the Rendock Isle. And I've already spent a bit of time this morning plotting out this new road for Doc and I. And I've also got a couple of maps fired up. I, I can't wait to see our area of Hermit Continent on a map and hopefully we can make the roads look really, really cool. My plan here is to make the road not only connect to Rendock Isle, but I want the journey across the road to be a pretty good one. I want there to be a lot of nice views. I want to try and make the road look pretty sweet. And, well, it's a nice and gentle project to get the week started here, my dudes. All we got to do is cut down a couple of birch trees and get the shovel out and make some path action over here. Maybe get a bit of bone meal going, grow some foliage, maybe make a couple of lampposts and whatnot. Oh, man, this is exactly the kind of Minecraft that I want to start the week off with, my dudes, because... Well, in a few minutes time, you guys are going to see some pretty crazy shenanigans that have been happening on the server this week. Starting with uh, our good old friend Mumbo Jumbo, the potato face, who came over to, well, kill me for some unknown reason. And also rather excitingly, Doc and I finally got around to investigating those coordinates that you guys have been posting in our comment sections over the last couple of episodes. Turns out the coordinates lead directly to a Zoomavoid's base. And yesterday we got together with the Zoomavoid to, uh, well, go and check these coordinates out. And let me tell you something, my dudes, what we found was pretty crazy. Now, shenanigans aren't the only thing that I've been busy with this week, my dudes. Oh, no. I've been hard at work underneath the hippie van working on our sewer storage system. This is a project that we opened a couple of episodes ago. And, well, this week I decided, you know what? We're going to get this storage system done. Last season, I never managed to finish my storage system. This season, I'm going to finish the freaking storage system. And it looks like we have a little present here in the bathroom. I'm not sure where this has come from. Looks like a shelter face. And it's a very awkward looking face indeed. Someone left us a gift in our loo? Uh, thanks? Any Hoozle, for the last couple of days, I have been excavating what was a very small little hole that we dug in episode 2 underneath the hippie van into, as you can see, a rather large chamber. And I've had a pretty amazing idea to not just make a storage system in a sewer. Let's try and make something really special out of this. Let's make some sort of a vault down here. A place where we can keep our most prized possessions in season 8. And instead of just having a couple of chests with some stuff in it, let's do something really great with the space underneath the hippie van. So I guess today's episode is all about roads, maps, shenanigans, and sewers, I suppose. Well, the good news is, just managed to finish off one of those things, the roads. Yeah, looking pretty good, right? I mean, it's not taken me too long to do this, about an hour or so, but I really like the way this road is traveling through this area. And the path design isn't anything special, but you know, we're sort of at the beginning of Minecraft at the moment, so we don't have access to loads and loads of resources at the minute. I mean, with a bit of bone meal, a little bit of path block shoveling action, you can make some pretty decent roads in this game, and 
And for now, this is gonna do just fine. When a hermit arrives from somewhere else on the continent and they find this road, they will at least know that, you know, Doc and I are living here. The place is lived in. There's life around these here parts. And, well, hopefully it's a road that is inviting to peeps to come and visit. Although, there's no real reason to visit at the moment. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe Doc and I need to build some sort of a shop or something around here. I don't know. Anyway, roads are looking awesome. I love them. Mumbo Jumbo, what's up, man? <laughs> what's going uh, on? Nothing much, dude. I am... I am so, so envious of your bus, dude. This is this yep. is the coolest thing in the world. Yep. It has a hyperdrive. Oh my goodness. Also, All right, that's yes. a pretty that's a pretty serious bus. It is a serious bus. It's got wings and everything. <laughs> it does have wings. I thought you just had a really cool canopy, but I was like, the canopy the canopy's a little bit low. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> there's not much camping you can do under this canopy. No, this is this is wicked. Oh thank you. It even has a working uh, a working toilet. If you, uh, you know, <clears throat> if you need to do some business. Does it actually? My, my bus yep. does not have that. I just do it out the side. Yep. And hope that nobody notices. Yeah, this look is... at that. Beautiful, right? This is, this is the business. See ya. Oh! oh! <laughs> right, well, that is it. Oh, my goodness. There's an end of my attacking me. This is a real problem. Sorry about that. Wow. I, c I couldn't resist. <laughs> I, no, I well, you know what? This is this is perfect because you've done me like that. I think I think are you interested in a test where you could potentially die? Like, is that is that something that you're interested in? Are you okay with potentially uh, dying in this situation? Sure. Um, I, I don't mean, mind being that... a guinea pig. I mean, when we when we say die, like, what are we talking? Are we talking serious death? Are we talking mega pain? Are we talking embarrassment? Am I gonna have to, you know? I think it would be fast. I think it would be uh, okay. a quick way to go. I think I'd like. I, I like to think anyway. I mean, how do we get out of this place? Oh yeah. Could, okay. Could, yep. I mean, there, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done around here. Okay, Mumba. Whoops. That right. Was, okay. Yep, okay. So that, that didn't work. There's like a hole up there. You got to try to get through. <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay. Good. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. And then, oh, this is gorgeous. This. Yeah. I love thank what you've you. done with the place. Thank you very much. Do you have a lot of stuff on you right now, by the way? Uh, not too much. Should I? Should I just? I've got a shulker box. I can just dump I everything in there. Is that, that, that a good idea? Close. I mean, I would. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll move over here. Yeah. Yeah. If you put. If you put. Yeah. Your stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay cool. Now and you're then starting then we'll, to worry me. I'm not gonna lie. Way. I've I've discovered something really cool that I've been testing out because you know I do like the peace, love, and plants things, and uh -huh. I, I can't kill anything. Yeah. You know, there's like this thing that I can do where it's just this. This and then. Oh, okay, I can't do it. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh man, the way it gets cut off when someone dies is so funny. <laughs> it was just so brilliant. It's like ah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Just instant, instant death. Uh, did you? You only had you only had your elytra, right? I think I'm so. Just... Yeah, I only had that okay, on me. Okay, okay, yeah. Good. I suddenly panicked that I didn't know. I don't yeah. know what happens when someone dies to an end crystal. It doesn't happen that often. Well, Should was we that a successful and... test? Um, I would say it was pretty successful. These are my these are my new weapons now. Do you, I mean you can you can have some if you'd like if you want to play with them yourself. They are pretty. All right. They are quite entertaining. All right, um, I'll take some of those actually. It's so a pretty good way to get netherite, <laughs> actually. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah. So have fun with that. Thank you for being part of my test. Listen, that was incredibly successful. The only thing scarier uh, uh, than that test, Mumbo, is I, I, yep. I don't want to be mean. You know, we're friends and everything, but your face. Are you going to reference my, my, my potato? Yeah. You, look, that, you're one to talk, dude. You are one to talk. Your face. I mean, you are mi mildly terrifying. My, <laughs> I know I'm not a looker, all right? But <laughs> you're not doing so well my, yourself, my friend. <laughs> that, that's fair enough. <laughs> that, that is fair. That is fair enough. I mean, yeah. We're like the weirdest pair of superheroes ever. Yeah, like, this we is. We currently look like the strangest matchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, anyway, right, thanks well. for coming over. That uh, that was fun. <laughs> All right, dude. See you later. See ya. It's the next day in real life, cyber diggity dogs, and I've got some really great news to share with you today. Oh, baby. I've been making some pretty insane progress over the last few days on our storage system. 
And, well, I can't wait to show you what's happening. <laughs> Although, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here with Evil X. I don't know, man. Feels like there's some shenanigans afoot. Anyway, as I said, guys, I made such excellent progress on our sewer storage system last night. Or should I say our sewer treasure room? And I'm super excited to show you guys. Uh, we're going to take the immersion tour. The full immersion tour. Let's get flushed deep into what has now become... A massively awesome looking, well, it's supposed to be a sewer, but it's actually turned out to be more of some sort of a treasure room. This is, yeah, pretty much what I had in my brain. It's coming together rather nicely. Made out of mostly deep slate and uh, black stone, which are two of my favorite blocks in the game at the moment. And, well, as you can see, I have separated our storage room into four major platforms. This is how we're going to be storing our most important loot here in Season 8. We'll have a platform for all of the really rare ores, like diamonds and emeralds and whatnot. We've got a platform for all of our gear and the shared elytra that Doc and I are using. Uh, we'll have a platform here for all the shulker boxes that Doc and I can use. And, well, over here we'll have a place where we can store some of the rarer items in the game, uh, like, you know, netherite ingots and horse arm and we will also have our map which I still need to complete as you can see um, but yeah this is the idea so far I still need to do a bunch of terraforming inside of this thing and by terraforming I mean some block variation uh, we need to break up these very solid walls of single block types um, and I'll probably get cracking on with that today but I also want to try something really really interesting with this build I kind of had this idea in the shower last night just before I went to bed what if we we made our treasure room look like, I don't know, like Amethyst has sort of broken out of the floor and has grown up the sides of the sewer. You know, maybe the sewer has been here so long that the goop inside of the sewer has, I don't know, like crystallized, I suppose, which is kind of gross. But um, <laughs> I think we could make it work quite nicely if we get these sort of stretches of Amethyst crystal veinage going all the way up the sides and uh, we can get that all around the place, right? I mean, look at that. That looks really sweet. I just love the way that Amethyst and the new Deep Slate blocks look together. Um, and of course, we can add some other stuff to this. We can get some lighting in here, some lichen, some glow berries, all sorts of jazz, my dudes. By the way, we're also going to be uh, storing our head collection down here too, which is pretty sweet. We've got some pretty decent heads so far, actually. We even got a wither head because we helped Grian and his crew kill a wither the other day, uh, which is sweet. But anyway, uh, lots and lots of work to do, my dudes. I got coffee coursing through my veins. Let me get these blocks down before I have a coffee crash and while I'm doing this let's go join Doc and Azuma whom I met up with earlier on in the week to examine those coordinates you guys have been talking about and yeah things got really really weird really really quick. Check it out my dudes. Doc M77 baby welcome to barbecue 3. Ooh. Oh yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah me too. Yeah. I mean you got steak I got chicken. Dude, the, the Octospawner going crazy this week. My goodness. Mm, I'm, I'm a bit tired, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a lot of grinding, but worth it. We're going to be filthy yep. rich soon, man. I also made a giant spider to yoink the goat and pole out of the hole. So it's been busy, dude. Yeah, I saw that. Um, by the way, yeah. moving the golden pole up will be a complicated endeavor, but I think not my problem. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you complaining, dude. OK, <sighs> you just get it done. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get it then. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, by the way, did, did you touch my parrot? Say what? Did you touch my parrot? Look, uh, this is... Is this the parrot from Last Barbecue? Eh. I'm sure it was I, a different color last time. Was yeah. it? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Really Perlez and Moon's been going around flipping creatures upside down. So maybe she switched the parrot or something. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Everything is upside down. It's insane. <laughs> Dude, speaking of upside huh? down, man, well, this is actually has nothing to do with it, but I've added something to the laundry list. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> They're freaking the coordinates, coordinates, man. Mm. I I mean, I've been getting these coordinates in my chat at, or in my, uh, in my comments, like, for the last two episodes, and so have you. Like, what is this about? Well, one thing's for sure. I looked it up. It's pretty much almost under Suzuma White's base. We ah. said if it's on the island, we go. So I guess we go. Yeah. <laughs> is he prank? Is this a prank? Is he pranking us? I don't know. I mean, we're definitely going to take him with us. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, shall we? Let's go find Azuma and, I don't know, find these cohorts and see what's there. I mean, 
I'm pr this feels like a prank to me, dude. This feels like an Azuma prank to me. He loves a bit of co-ord action, you know? Yeah, I say he's got some evil X stuff going on as yeah. well, man. Dude, maybe Azuma yeah, touched my parrot. Dang it! Wait, that's Airwolf. This is Azuma's base, right? The lighthouse? Ah! Yeah, yeah. There he is! Yo! <laughs> Yo, X, what's happening, baby? Hello! Hi! Hi. What's up? Hello! <laughs> I was just I was just looking out at the view, and yeah. uh, here are the two of you. Yeah, well, well we're looking for you. Whoops. Oh, well, yeah. you found me. Nice. <laughs> what's happening? What, what's going on? Not much, not much. Just taking in the view, enjoying the breeze. Yeah. Well, we've got a question for you. Okay, yeah. Is this you? Uh, I am not a piece of paper, but... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Doc and I have been getting these coordinates posted in our comments for the last two videos. It leads to, like, pretty close to your base somewhere, so we're assuming this is an Azuma prank. Uh, th there, I am I am not one to prank, but this does appear to be somewhere in this area. Yeah. Um, right. So this is not you, then? You didn't do this? I, I, I mean... These coordinates are my area, but I have got no clue what's going on here. It also, mm. it's underground as well, so, you know, I'm uh, up here on the surface doing my thing. Doc, okay. I don't know. Uh? Suspicious. Very, look at that face. Hey, no, no. <laughs> hey, what, what I'm is, being what, deadly the... serious. This is the first time I've seen these numbers on a piece of paper. Okay. Right, let's, okay, let's, let's, let's look where it is. What Shall we check it, it out? Shall we go check it out together? I mean, <laughs> I, I think you should yeah, come okay. with us. Because I, I still believe this might be a prank gig, so, you know, yeah. uh, you well, got to come with be, us for it this. It could be someone else pranking the three of us. That's, uh, mm, that's also yeah. true. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a all, deep... always a possibility. That's a deep <laughs> prank. Dude, have you got some time? I mean, we don't want to bother you if you're, like, working or whatever. I was literally just standing up here looking around. Okay, perfect. Not even thinking. I've got all the time in the world. Nice. Okay, so, uh, 1534, 21, negative 286. Okay, 266. And 1534. Okay, here. Oh! Yeah. I'm drowning. Alright, you guys go. Just Not recommended. Here. Alright, here we go. I'm a. I'm hey, we're, a... We're, has someone got, I see Doc's holding a torch. That's great. Oh, I'm okay. drowning. <laughs> I thought you were an axolotl X. Yeah, I should be immune. Yeah, don't you have external gill action? Oh, okay. Here's Wait, something. It, oh, there's something. Like, did you find a treasure or something? Hold on. Come down. Yo. Whoa, what is this? I don't know. X, are you alright? <laughs> I'm, I'm right behind ya, okay. okay. This should all feel a lot safer all of a sudden. I'm getting rid of this water. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, what, what is this? Did you make this X? Ooh! Is this no. your base or something? I mean, uh, there's mine shafts in my area. This isn't, this isn't normal. Like, yo, there's like a lectern here too. Hold on. Oh, this might be someone else's base. Unknown or intruder like connection area. detected. Delete node dot keys. Deleting what? Estimated Dude, this time. looks like server things. This what? wait, this feels like a oh, meta prank. So, this is a meta prank or something. There's, there's, there's five minutes Dude, remaining. Check this out. There's like a massive cave thing here. Check this. Dig that out. Yo, did you hear that? Whoa. What was that? Oh my oh god, my look at this. Thing. What the heck? Oh, There's wow. axolotls Dude. here. <gasps> There's axolotls. Oh. oh, my friends. Hello. What is this? It's, Wait, a, it's an axolotl sanctuary. Dude, there, there's buttons it. behind you, X. Careful. Th Ooh, this, okay. dudes, I'm smelling prank action, man. This is... This... Whoa, what, okay. What was that? Uh... Dudes, okay, hold on. There's bucket. There's buckets and item frames. This is, this has got to be a thing, right? It could be. A, it could be. What we got to scoop up all the axolotls? What is going on? I, I guess. Oh my God! There's know. lava. There's lava. Pick the, pick the oh, axolotls. Oh, oh okay. there's lava coming down from there. Rescue, rescue. Okay, hold on, hold on, Wait hold, a on. Minute. hold on, hold on. Grab them. Oh, they are. They, yeah, they got names too. What is happening? Okay, hold on. Are you guys, are you guys getting them? Because I'm failing really okay. badly. Get I'm him. failing really badly. I got three. There's one left here in the Dude, middle. Dude, there's lava flowing everywhere. Did we get wait. them all? Hold on. Did you get no, them all? I don't know. Get the emerald. Get the emerald. I'm oh, wait. There's an emerald. There's too? a chest. There's a chest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Here. Oh my goodness me, netherite ingots. Hello. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh watch out, the lava. Oh jeez. <laughs> Careful, oh, man. Oh, I see what you mean now. It was flowing down the pipe. I think we yeah. rescued them all. Did we get them all? Oh, okay. I've got, I've got one. I've got one. <laughs> I got, I got three. Let's let's retreat back here. Okay, hold on, and, hold on. Yeah. Let's try and figure out what's happening here. <laughs> let's use oh. this chest and then yeah. rearrange them like they're letters. All right. All right. Uh, there we go. How many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C and K might probably go together. Okay. Uh, we got an M, an L, a C, an I, B, and so we got what? One vowel? What? What? What is happening here? I'm, I'm turning the note blocks off. <laughs> it's driving me insane. Yeah, those, uh, those are those are a pest. Okay. This thing says we have five minutes remaining, by the way. Yeah, that didn't five, feel like yeah, five minutes, should... did it? <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna get up. If that is five minutes, maybe there's a countdown going. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. you, oh there might be Should like a check? final Should explosion or something. Yeah. Miss let's, anything let's, in here? Let's double check. Okay. I mean, uh, there were buttons on the grounds. Yeah, there's buttons. Do they do anything? No, that doesn't do anything. I mean, there's, I mean, there's some diamonds in the walls. I might doink some of that actually. Yeah. Oh, we're at it. Thank you very oh, yeah. much. Oh, some of those. Beautiful. And crystals, <laughs> uh -huh. actually. <laughs> We're raiding the place now. We're just raiding it. <laughs> okay, so ho hold on, gentlemen. So we got eight axolotls. We got some netherite ingots, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were free. Shall we go I here guess, just like, in case what, something explodes? Okay. Oh, right. So it's kind of like a reward or something for us, I suppose? It seems so. This is a very cryptic prank, but I think yeah. we'll find out more once we, uh, All once right. we establish what's in the, the coded message, yeah. right? Let's yeah, get let's away get, from those Yeah, let's get blocks. away from the... Have you got the axolotls? I got uh, them all. Okay, they're got still it. in the bucket. They got okay. left behind. <laughs> I got them all. I got them okay, all. Okay, awesome. Oh, man. You got some <laughs> extensive branch money going on next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, got out of there safe and sound, though, so that's good. Yeah. Been getting yeah. harvard to death. So what did we get? I mean, I got this one diamond ore block. I got the block of emerald and then all these axolotls, which are We got a netherite ingot each, too. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got another right ingot there, Doc. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Do you want to keep the axolotls, man? I don't need them. I, I like Yeah, we, yeah we, we have loads around our ship, right? Okay, yeah, I can keep these. I mean, dudes, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, like, uh, punch a gift horse in the face, but, like, is that it? Is that it? Is that all we get? Some netherite <laughs> uh, ingots and some axolotls? Yeah, I man. don't know. I feel like there's more to this, but yeah. right now I'm pretty clueless. Okay, <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I I don't know, man. Well, you keep the axolotls. We'll take the ingots. That was okay. fun. <laughs> that, that definitely was fun and beautiful. That place was yeah, it was, really it was quite spectacular. Axolotl and we can share these diamonds. Okay, how many? Four. Nice. Have some more. <laughs> nice. Okay, now it's feeling so, better. Now I'm feeling better. Now we're talking bling yeah. blings. I'm loving yeah, this. Two for you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't know, Thank man. You. This was oh, man. this was weird. That was weird. This? Well, anyway, X, yeah. thanks for uh, spending some time with us. I, yeah, that, yeah, happy to that, have that, some I don't know what to say. That was weird. Viewers sent us on a weird goose chase. That was that yeah. was good fun, though. <laughs> hey, uh, is that the way out? Oh yeah. <laughs> See you, X. Give him a <laughs> nice ya. home, right? <laughs> yeah. Look after the axolotls, X. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Well, my dudes, as I mentioned at the start of the episode, it's been a very interesting week on the Hermacraft server, to say the very least. I mean, no idea what all of that axolotl action was all about with the Zoomer and Doc, but man, did we have a good time, uh, I guess, solving that prank? I mean, was it a prank? I don't know. It looked like we had to save a bunch of axolotls from lava. The axolotls had names. I think each of them was named a different letter. And well, I mean, Azuma's got all the axolotls right now, so I'm pretty sure he'll try and figure that puzzle out in his next episode. Let's make sure we all check out Azuma's next episode, right? See if we can figure out why those axolotls were named that, uh, those different letters. That was a ton of fun. Whoever set that prank up, good job. <laughs> We did get a netherite ingot out of it too, which is awesome. And I'm thinking we should probably upgrade one of our diamond pickaxes here with this netherite ingot. That seems like a good use of it. Oh, and I've also got amazing, amazing news, guys. I have been hard at work on our sewer storage facility underneath the hippie van. Man, I cannot wait to show you the progress I've made on that. Uh, it's looking absolutely fantastic. But first things first, let's head down into the rain dock lair and find the smithing table. There it is. And uh, let's upgrade, yeah, let's upgrade our silk tone. 
touch pickaxe into netherite. Beautiful. That's our very first netherite tool for season eight. That is freaking awesome. We're cooking with gas out here today, my dudes. And speaking of gases, my dudes, we also be cooking with some pretty juicy sewer gas this week. I cannot wait to show you what I have done with our sewer storage system. I mean, it's no longer a storage system. It is some sort of a treasure vault of amazingness that has taken me a couple of days to put together. And, uh, well, it's nice and bright and early today. I cannot wait to get down there to show you this, my dudes. Are you ready? Full immersion tour ahead. We flush ourselves down into the sewer and take a look at what has happened down here guys oh yes baby this is what i'm talking about it is a sewer not only a sewer it is a sewer that has been encrusted with beautiful beautiful crystalline growths i suppose that have been growing up the sides of the walls slowly taking over the place we've got the particles coming in left right and center these weird particles that we get from these new beautiful flowers in 1.17 we got water dripping from the ceiling we've got sewer lines running north south east and west where we will eventually start building tunnels to connect to other parts of hermit continent and of course the main purpose of this room is for us to be able to store our most important stuff in season eight and uh, i've created four platforms over here where we will be storing our stuff over here we will be having our shulker boxes as the crystalline veins grow up into the roof we've got all of our great gear over here right our different sets of armor we've got an ender chest that we can access in the middle of this we've got our shared elytra here with doc and uh, in the background of course these beautiful structures we've got glow berries coming down giving a little bit of light we've got warped vines growing up which i think is a great compliment to this uh, this build over here and this is our diamond platform of course where we will be storing our diamond blocks our diamond ore and uh, all of that sweet jazz and of course one final platform over here where we have started our head collection this is where we're going to be keeping some of the rarer stuff in minecraft right we got, we got these uh, end crystals from mumbo we got a chest here for a bunch of uh, copper blocks which are kind of rare to get at the moment horse armor and records and all sorts of things and of course, I finally managed to finish the map of our area here, guys. Of course, there is the Octa Spawner chunk that we've been working on. And uh, we can now see the beautiful road system that we created at the start of the episode too. Bringing us all the way up to the hippie van, all the way up to the Phoenix farm and the shipwreck. And uh, over time, this map will be updated, right? And as more stuff gets built around here, uh, we will be able to see this whole area coming to life. And uh, man, that is looking absolutely sweet. But dudes, I really, really love how the sewer has turned out. I think it looks absolutely awesome. These new particles that we get really help to add uh, a bit of magic into this whole thing, right? And uh, I, I, I wanted to make it a little bit darker, though. It is quite bright at the moment, but I don't know. I kind of like that it's bright. It makes these crystal veins really pop and uh, brings the whole place to life. And, uh, well, I just love the fact that you get flushed down a toilet to get here. <laughs> There's something, I don't know, kind of grossly awesome about that, right? I mean, yep, they're, they're, this is where the poop arrives, but apparently the poop becomes diamonds. And uh, we can't really complain about that. Uh, by the way, I have also finally added an exit to our sewer. It's uh, a bubble vapor at the moment. And uh, a couple of you guys had a really cool idea to, to add like an outhouse to the back here of the van. So we could build a little outhouse here. Uh, that's where we can actually exit our treasure room, which I think is a great idea. Um, and yeah, I've spent a bit of time on the roads too, my dudes. I mean, it has been a very, very productive episode this week. Very happy with our treasure room. Extremely happy with the roads that we started on uh, a couple of days ago. And all in all, Rendok Isle is starting to look really great. I mean, look at this. We've even, even got raiders coming in <laughs> to have a look at the area. Um, and we can take one final full immersion tour down the road uh, in the middle of the night. And Oh man, great views across the bay toward the Octospawner over there. And oh my goodness, these guys are so freaking annoying. Can you leave me alone, my dudes? I'm trying to do a full immersion tour up in this business. But yeah, my dudes, that's going to do it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, hey, hit me up with a like. And uh, well, let me know what you think of our brand new treasure room and the upgrades that we have made to our area over here. 
And well, from all the up, all the way up here, it looks kind of magnificent, doesn't it? That road is looking really, really awesome. Um, thank you very much for watching, my friends. I'm going to get back down into the treasure room and, uh, I don't know, try get a few more treasures installed here. Maybe add a few more diamonds and whatnot into the collection. Go do a little bit of strip mining. Uh, but yeah, thank you so very much for watching, my dudes. Ren Diggity Dog, uh, sign it out. I will smell you all in the next episode.